hello, vacation home buyers and rented property investors. Today, we are at the beautiful Vista Real condominiums in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. This property is set along a windy, rocky beach road on a sort of cliffside portion of the Bay of Madeiras. And today we're here for a walkthrough with the owner to talk through a renovation that we will be doing over the next 60 days. So we chose this location. It's not um, the traditional Puerto Vallarta location that most people moving from the States would pick. Uh, we wanted to be close enough to, to the romantic zone and, and the action, but far enough removed from it as well with a view and close enough to the water and not be city blocks. And that's kind of how we picked the location. Design choice, uh, the condo currently is, I would call it grandma chic. Um, it is blues, not any of them the same, uh, and just not, I mean, it's not even traditional beach. Uh, I've had a house in Florida before and traditional Florida beach is whites, pinks, and uh, starfish and uh, sand dollars and shells. And at my previous beach home, we, we prided ourselves, we were younger then, and uh, we kind of had it like a more trendy, um, upscale executive condo uh, without, and we actually marketed it on when we rented it as Not Your Grandma's Beach Condo. And so because I've always hated that look of pinks and kind of the Golden Girls wrapped home in front of children. So for here, um, the view's amazing. At night, it's beautiful. But my current home, I actually wanted something darker and more dramatic. And I got a beautiful home and what they fit, the finished product is beautiful, but it wasn't dark, dramatic and hotel lobby. So this time around, I said, I'm going to get exactly what I want here, which is dark, dramatic, masculine, hotel lobby, like bar kind of feeling, just kind of glamorous, but masculine at the same time. I almost want you to feel a little bit uncomfortable being in here in your swimsuit and your oily skin, right? I want it to feel luxurious, but, but beach at the same time. And over multiple projects, I've learned you can always tell when a designer's involved versus when a designer's not involved. And you can tell here things were just not fun. Like there was no designer just by the location of weird light switches. Like I've learned so much about just like how put lighting pattern is and lighting design is and how it plays a part. I, I mean, the reason why I chose Crate Interiors is because I just got an itemized plan and it was very succinct and it's very clear cut. I mean, it's still, it's still the gift of me to hang your post on When you walked out, uh, my friends that were here were uh, like, she's the one, right? And I was like, absolutely. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's so sweet. That means a lot yeah. to me. I'm excited to see the, the final product. I just think that seeing, sitting out there and seeing this dark, dramatic room uh -huh. is going to be incredible. Yeah, we see it too. Especially right? going from country blue. <laughs> Patchy. Patchy, yeah. yeah. 